and welcome back to some more survival of the Yoshi. In the last episode, yeah, we uh, we kind of worked on the tree farm, and I've just realized how screwed up my inventory is right now, so let me try and fix this all. Seriously, Yoshi, what are you doing with your life, man? I don't know. It's just wasting it away on Minecraft and booze. That has no relevance to anything, and I am not wasting it away. Anyway. What? I don't know, maybe that's like some subconscious thoughts coming out there, because I, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Yeah, last time, we uh, we started kind of this tree farm. For some reason, this tree wouldn't grow, and I'm not sure why. Um, I think someone said in the comments, actually, and I'm not sure why, and I didn't read it, and I totally forgot. Well, no, I did read it, I just totally forgot what it was, and I'm trying to figure it out in my mind. I think it had something to do with four oak planks or something. I don't know, what? I don't know what that has to do with anything. We'll figure that out at a later date. But what I want to do today is add a couple of finishing touches to this. I want to make a wooden border here, just so it kind of ties it together. With this kind of arch that we made that I thought would look really, really cool. And then kind of failed. Uh, so I'm going to put all the wooden planks just around it, just to tie it in a little bit. And then put fences on top of that so none of them monsters can get in. Not that they're really going to ruin the trees. Because that's not really a thing. But I think it will just tie it together nicely. So, I'm going to go be right back already. I kind of didn't prep for this episode, which is dumb. But, I okay, I need to fix this out. I, I just need to figure this out in my mind. When I'm on this side of the door, the doors are the right way. Okay? And now they're not. What? Why is this? I have been seeing this all the time. And every time I'm inside, I think my doors are screwed up. And then when I'm outside, I'm like, oh, no, they're fine. They're fine. No worries. I don't know why that's happening, and I kind of don't want to knock them down in case it is a glitch, because I think it looks really weirdly cool. Anyway, yeah, so I am going to go and get myself a bunch of fences, a bunch of wood. <laughs> I'm going to get myself some wood. And then I will be right back, and we will get finishing up this tree farm. I might try and do the pathway from the tree farm to my little water base here as well today. Just kind of tie it all together. And then with that, the tree farm will actually be done. And I can start figuring out ideas for what I want to do next episode. So, let me go get my items. Stop dawdling on my commentary because goddamn Yoshi, you're a noob. And I will be right back. Oh, we got a mob battle. Who's going to win? I'm putting my bets on skeleton. Oh, Jesus! No! I'm putting my bets on skeleton, but apparently Creeper won because Creeper came out of freaking nowhere. Seriously, I just got wood. <laughs> well, that's one way of starting our tree farm. Yay. <laughs> God damn it. Right, well, we're going to have to replant that in a bit then. Uh, yeah, while I'm doing this, let me give you an update. I actually came up with a better idea. I thought, because I am kind of low on wood and we won't be in a stable situation until this tree farm grows a bit, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to replace, aside from the wooden arch here, because I think that does look okay, I'm going to replace the stairway we had here and then the walls around here with, uh, with smooth stone instead, because I've got that cooking down in my base right now. Can you see the furnaces from here? Hold on. Let's, let's see if we can do this. Let's get the right viewpoint here. Can you see the furnaces? You're not going to be able to see it, and this is a pointless journey in the video. Oh, no, you kind of can. Just really distance there. You can kind of see it. So, yeah, I've got another furnace in there as well. Three of them smelting, st uh, yeah, a stack of 64 iron each, and the other stacking a 64 smooth stone set each. And then I'm going to replace this and just decorate it cobblestone, uh, smooth stone wise. I think it will look quite nice as well, so it's not too big of a hit. And then we can conserve wood, because that's the whole reason we started up this farm. We really, really do need to. I'm going to keep those wooden stairs there, though, as well, so the pathway will be cobblestone. Actually, will the pathway be cobblestone? I'm not sure yet. Like, I, I know it would tie in better, but all of the pathways we've got going on right now are wood like that, so maybe I'm going to run that. I also realised that I need to, uh kind of properly connect the stable and the pathway there, because I haven't done that yet, so maybe we'll do that a bit later, or maybe that's something for next episode, I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, I don't have any plans for next episode, because that be so that could be a nice way to start it off, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, back to the cut, I just wanted to update you guys there, and see that mob battle, which didn't turn out too great, one way of putting it, but, yeah. Let me get all this smooth stone all finished up. And we'll start decorating the tree farm. Okay, so I've got a stack and a half of smooth stone. So let's see how far decoration-wise we can get with that. Uh, and then by the time we're done, hopefully, we'll have another stack of 64. That's how the, mo the world of Minecraft works, guys. Don't know what I'm going with with this. I'm just going to stop the talk. Right, so let's go ahead. What the hell was that, Yoshi? What the hell was that? I don't know. And also, I'm sure loads of you just raged at me because, yes, I did, in fact... Just chop down some sand 
with a stone sword. Oh, it's a Minecraft sin. Oh my god. I know, I love people. I, <laughs> I find it really funny. Right, anyway, let's carry on here and get this laid down. So, I kind of need a shovel now that I think about it. Kind of need a shovel. Let's go back and see if we've got one in our inventory. I don't have one with me, is what I mean. I mean, let's see if we got one in a chest. Got to phrase my shit right. God damn. Apparently, guys. Apparently, I didn't notice this until the episode was like edited and everything, and you guys started commenting about it. Apparently, I didn't swear in the last episode of Survival of the Yoshi, which for me, sadly, apparently, is quite a big thing. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way, it's it's part of my charm. But I wasn't aware of that, and I don't know what was going on that day. I mean, firstly, it wasn't even in my mind that that happened, and secondly, why the hell not? What happened that day? You know my grammar is pretty damn shitty. <laughs> he says, demonstrating perfectly. So, yeah, really weird. I have no idea. Anyway, let's drop all this down, and this layer here, this just, like, one wall inch block thing. Don't know how to describe this, but it's it's good. It's just going to be straight up smooth stone. And I'm not sure, actually, just yet, if I'm going to put, like, a cobblestone wall on it, or a fence, or what. Because that was my original plan, and now that I've decided to go smooth stone, I think it might look nice without one. So, we'll see what happens. As I said, aside from creepers, which we unluckily demonstrated today, and I didn't realise how close that was to the ravine. Uh, you know, we demonstrated today. Aside from that, I mean, we're not on much mob risk on this area either. Like, it's not like zombies where they'll trample your crops and all that kind of stuff, so... I'm kind of tempted to just leave it unfenced and it'll probably be okay, but probably isn't great chances in Minecraft, so... I mean, that's the one thing I have learned about Minecraft in my time playing. Probably are not good odds to be risking with, so we'll have to see what happens. For now, though, I think I will just leave it like this for today's episode, at least. And then we'll be okay to go. I don't think we'll even need the cob uh, the smooth stone that we're cooking up in the furnace today. I think we might be good just with what I have with me now. In fact, yeah, I think we definitely will be. Yeah, we should be. Unless my Minecraft math is really wrong. But it's not. Hooray. Nice. Okay, so it, it looks a bit better. It looks more official. I think that's what I'm looking for. And I'm definitely happy with that. And thank God I chopped down that dirt. Because we have got to replace this now. Totally forgot about that. God damn it, creeper. What you doing? I was excited to see who would have won the mob battle. I might, I would have placed my bets on Creeper. Oh no, well no, yeah, I would have because Creeper won. But I would have placed my bets on the skeleton, honestly, because he's got the range, and the range is a good thing. Right. So the last thing I do want to do with the tree farm today, and this wasn't planned. This is just something I've come up on the top of my head right now, is I want to go and get a sapling from this tree here because. The creeper did do some damage, and while there are logs left here, there we go, while there are logs left here, I thought, you know what, let me just demolish this, and then we can plant another one where this one used to be. I don't want to just have this tree farm system being, uh, you know, demolish one, plant one, demolish one, plant one. I want to get to the point where we can keep planting new ones while keeping old ones up, so we have many, many multiples of the trees. But for now, because of that creeper incident, I'm ter- I'm perfectly. What does perfectly mean, Yoshi? Please tell me. I'm perfectly fine just destroying this one and replanting it. Especially because this other tree here that kind of grew into it is massive. And I want to see if we get another big one of these as well and we get some cool patterns. Ah, uh, it's so pretty. Right, let me chop down all this tree here. Plus we get some wood, which we will be needing, I'm sure, for next episode. Because I don't know what I'm doing, as I said at the, uh, at the, uh, like, throughout the episode, but I do know that at the start of the episode, I am going to be kind of finishing off the pathway to the stable, so sounds like a good plan to me. Right, let's plant it a tiny, tiny bit away. I'm also going to take this sapling down. Which one is this? Dark Oak. Yeah, you guys definitely said stuff about that in the comments, and I can't remember what you said, so we'll look that up later, but I'm going to let that one just grow, because I don't think I have any bones on me right now. We can go and check. I'm going to go put this sapling back, so if I have any bones on me, I will go and just bone meal it up. But if not, I'm perfectly fine with having that just grow by itself. I don't think we do. As I said, the reason I don't think we do is because we used all of them last episode to grow those trees that were already grown. So yeah, we don't. I don't see any in my chests. So it's coming to the end of the day. It's nice. The sunset is beautiful. We'll finish off looking over that in a minute. But I will also plant one more of these now that we've actually got the space. Just about there. I think that should be enough space to grow. It should be good with those two. So, guys, we have some more trees coming up today. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful 
And yep, you guessed it, a beautiful time, and a majestic time. I haven't used that word in a long time. That was like the survival of the Yoshi word for a little bit. I love that word, majestic. It's Mikasa the Majestic, it's a horse. And, uh... Oh yeah, I had a lot of comments asking why I called that episode Mikasa. No, because Mikasa wasn't even in that episode. I don't know, I think I was, like, high or something. <laughs> I wasn't high! Don't take that out of context. But, no, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea now that I come to think about it. It just fit my mind at the time. Anyway, guys, let's watch the sunset as we finish off this episode of the Survival of the Yoshi. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. It's like scribbling but subbing at the same time. It's kind of multitasking, actually. You might not be good at it. I can't multitask. kind of sucks. Anyway, what the fuck? <laughs> well, this isn't a non-swearing episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. As I said, guys, I've been Yoshi DeMario. And I will see you all a little bit later. Mm, bye, guys.